Okay, welcome to this uh, new video. In this, um, I'm going to show you the MCCB. A few uh, tips and few points uh, related with the MCCB. And after that, about the shunt coil, how the shunt coil is fitted, how it is to be replaced, and a few things related to the MCB. So just, uh, I'll show you. One MCB is already, MCCB is kept open. <coughs> So MCCB as you all know it is molded case circuit breaker. So this is an uh, MCCB. So um, I will explain you about this because there are many things written on this and many times we just neglect and we don't like uh, give attention to that but sometimes it is very important. Here these are the uh, classification societies who have given the certificate to this product that this product can be used. So GIS is Japanese industrial standards this is IEC International Electro Commission Electrotechnical Commission sorry and NK is uh, Nippon Kaiji Kyokai so these are since it is manufactured in Japan so these are the Japanese standards and this is international standard which can be which is um, given certificate that this is can be used so um, coming back here here it is written UI UI is rated insulation voltage that is AC 690 volts that means when this was manufactured it was tested for 690 volts and this withstood so uh, its insulation can withstand till 690 volt this is about the frequency some model numbers of the company here and all 50 amperes 3 poles because it is 3 poles 1 2 3 <coughs> now here these are the um, there are three contacts i'll show you only one this is the moving contact and when we make when we put this breaker on this moves down and goes and makes connection with the uh, fixed contact and as we all know whenever a, a circuit or a contacts make and breaks there will be an arc produced and that arc is need to be quenched before it goes out of the breaker so if you can see these these are the plates which are called as the splitters they will split the arc and when it goes out the arc will be out in the small pieces and hence when it come, comes back it comes out here it will be totally quenched so these splitters are splitting or breaking the arc in small pieces here you can see this thing is called the movement of this the movement of this is responsible for tripping the breaker so and this movement is also responsible for breaking or tripping the breaker all right so we'll see now in what all cases these movements are going to take place this trips on the overcurrent overcurrent could be because of overload or maybe because of the short circuit fault so in any case when the current goes beyond its rated current there are three bimetallic strips here so the current could be could go higher in all the three phases or maybe in any one phase so the bimetallic strips are placed there down and that will make this thing to expand and move so now it cannot be moved but i am going to move this arrangement this one so what is going to happen is whenever the current is on higher side it will move like this and when this moves this movement is there and this will be responsible for tripping the breaker secondly this is one more movement with this also it is going to trip so this will move in one cases one case that is when we place it here if you can read here it is written as push to trip and there is a push button a small push button with help of screwdriver when you press this this will move and this will make this thing to move and whenever this moves the breaker will trip and another arrangement that is automatic or remote tripping for that there is a there is an arrangement this is called as shunt coil this will be placed here and this wire is going to the control circuit so control circuit could be uh, like um, your emergency stop could be um, a preferential trip whatever so the uh, like if you see here this is rated for 220 or 460 volts 
whenever voltage comes to this this coil which is placed here this movement will take place and this movement will make this move and this move will make the breaker to trip uh, so I am going to show you now I will keep this breaker open don't try it in open in uh, the circuit because there will be an R produced since it is out of the circuit no supply I can operate this sometimes you will be stuck in fixing this many times you know you fix in any ways it will not fix there is a proper technique if you can see th there is a step here this step goes and touches here so if you fix it from this side or from the top it will not fix it will not fit you have to place it on this side that is on the left side and and slightly move on the right side so this is how sometimes it's very it becomes very difficult to fix this yeah but it is so easy so now it is in off position it is in off position to close the breaker we need to make it this is reset when i close this you can observe here you can see here this this goes down and makes the connections with the fixed contact so i'm closing the breaker breaker is closed if you have noticed this this thing which was up here has gone down and made the connection and same at all the three places this breaker is closed now assume that the supply is applied here and the load is on this side and the <coughs> load is on this side so the current is flowing through this as long as the current is rated current within limit no problem but when the current rises maybe because of overloading or maybe because of short circuit these biometallic strips will expand any one or all the three or any two depending upon in which phase the current is more this movement will take place so you can see when i move this the breaker will trip see the current increasing this tripped now the breaker see this is open which was down now it is out that means the supply which was here is only here it is not coming on the other side so the your uh, our load is protected from the uh, faults or by getting damaged okay all right so this was about the over current and now i will show you what happens when when we make the push the trip to push button so again the breaker is reset switch it on and when externally we push this that makes push to this so i'm pushing it now see what again tripped so these were the two methods and there is a third method i will place this um, shunt coil in this and i will apply the supply when the supply comes this movement will take place and this movement will make this to move and it trips all right so now the next thing is about this shunt coil this is called a shunt coil and the movement is called as shunt release the electrical part is shunt coil and this mechanical movement is called as shunt release this is used for tripping the breaker from a from a remote place w whatever we saw till now is because of over current and because of pushing that uh, push to trip button now this is for putting this breaker off from a remote place like it could be from your engine control room could be from some emergency station or could be automatically in case of uh, preferential trip or in short for any kind of trip maybe auto or manual but from the remote place if the supply to this is av made available this breaker will trip and look here there is a there is an arrangement by which this can be put inside there will be a slot on the mccvs where this will go and fit and this is the moment which is you need to observe so look at this carefully because sometimes what happens is breaker is okay but it's shunt coil trips or maybe there is a breaker and you have got a new requirement like this breaker is to be tripped from a remote place and this will be supplied so you should be able to know how to use this and how to fit this so this is how i'm fitting it here 
so it is in that slot. So this fit in that slot and this is the moment. All right. This is wired to a stop push button and from here this I am putting to 220 volt supply because the coil this shunt coil is rated for 220 volt. Now assume this push button as an emergency stop at a to a, at some remote place or maybe a emergency group one two three something like that to press in case of fire or something like that or this could be wired to your uh, control station just by a click you, uh, the voltage will be made available to this coil and this brick is going to trip so now this is tripped condition now this is reset and i'm going to put it on the breaker is closed now assume this is in uh, switchboard room and this push button is on the main deck or maybe in the bridge wheelhouse or maybe some other place just by pressing this in case of an emergency whatever machine which was connected here let's say engine room fan which need to be switched off in case of uh, engine room fire so i'm just pressing this and look at this the breaker trips and also look at this movement you can see this moved the stripped and these contacts are out so this is how about the uh, main i mean uh, molded case circuit breaker i'm sure you you must have understood all those things in case if there are any uh, any queries you can put your comments in the section and i'll be happy to help you thank you all the best there are uh, two types of uh, mccbs with respect to their fixing arrangement so look at this the fixing arrangement this is plug type plug type if you have and whenever you are going to fix this no need to make that part blackout because this is a plug type so when you open the panel you will see this thing one side will be the power connection other side to the load so simply what you need to do is take this and place place and press so you can see here no need to loosen or tighten any screws no need to put the bus bars to blackout or off position just you can make it in the live condition okay thank you